Welcome to this episode of Q&A with Liturgy Man. I'm Taylor Burton Edwards, Liturgy Man with Discipleship Ministries of the United Methodist Church. I'm your apportionment dollars that work to help you strengthen worship and the understanding of worship where you are. Today's question comes to us from our UMC Worship Facebook group, and it is about, are there baptisms of other Christian groups or other groups that the United Methodist Church does not recognize as Christian baptism? And if so, what are they? Well, the answer to that question is really dependent upon how we understand what Christian baptism is in the first place and how we have defined that. We have defined that uh, really in much the same way that you would find it defined very broadly among Christian churches. Uh, it's in paragraph 225 of the 2016 Book of Discipline, a, a section that deals a transfer from uh, of persons from other denominations into the United Methodist Church. And here we speak about what we recognize as appropriate, true Christian baptism. Here, about two-thirds of the way down the, down the paragraph, it says, In baptism, water is administered in the name of the triune God by an authorized person. That may not sound like a very high barrier to meet, and it's not. Uh, you simply need to be an authorized person within your particular faith tradition of the Christian faith, and baptism needs to be done in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, if you've done that, then we recognize your baptism. Well, isn't that what the Mormons do, some, way, some may ask? And yes, linguistically, the language of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit does occur in Mormon baptism. And yet we call for persons who are Mormon, in our document, Sacramental Faithfulness, to receive Christian baptism from us. How did that happen? That happened as a result of significant dialogue that United Methodist and Mormon leaders engaged in together to discern what they meant and what we mean by baptism in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And what we both agreed to is that we mean entirely different things by that. In other words, they recognize that what we do is not Christian baptism as they understand it, and we recognize that what they do is not Christian baptism as we or nearly any other Christian church understands it, because their understanding of the nature of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is simply not that of the Christian church worldwide. It is their own. That said, the other primary issues involved in this, aside from that specific thing around uh, baptism in the name of the triune God, has to do with whether it's actually baptism in the name of the triune God at all. Um, and that has to do with groups such as the Jehovah's Witnesses, which recognize only Jehovah as the appropriate name. Um, groups that are Unitarian in theology, such as the United Pentecostal Church, which really recognizes Jesus is the only God there is, and they don't recognize or accept the doctrine of the Trinity. Um, as well as, let me say this, some members of the Unitarian Universalist Association. Some members of the Unitarian Universalist Association. Why do I say that? Because the Unitarian Universalist Association also includes some Trinitarians. You may never have thought of that before, but the Universalist side of the UUA is actually Universalist Christians who were, and many continue to be, Trinitarian in theology, and so they baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That particular group of Universalist Christians within the UUA is a continuing body from Universalist Christians beginning in the 19th century in the U.S., who, um, whose distinguishing mark was not Unitarianism, as was true with much of the rest of the UUA, nor was it a kind of um, draw from every possible tradition you can think of, universalism that you sometimes think about today, but actually very specifically a universalist soteriology, that is an understanding that God was going to save everyone through Jesus Christ. They were Christians and they were Trinitarian. And so if you happen to have been baptized in the UUA, it is possible 
that you received Christian baptism, and we would not need to offer that to you to join the United Methodist Church. So we recognize, as we say, baptism in water, in the name of the triune God, by a person authorized within that tradition to offer it. Hope this has been helpful. Remember, you can always contact me, worship at liturgyfolks.com through our UMC Worship Facebook group, as this one was, or drop a line on this page, and perhaps your question or comment will become the basis of a future episode of Q&A with Liturgy Man. The peace of Christ be always with you.